Welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brenton. Today we're on episode 111, 311 actually, not 100, um, of the Death Walkthrough. Welcome back. Uh, last time, if you haven't checked it out already, you should. We did Wildland stuff and we defeated Fusa and we saw a lab. And um, yeah, you should go watch that if you haven't already. But today we are. This is where the map was leading us. But there isn't anything here. It seems this has changed since the old one last visited. But perhaps there are clues yet to be found in the tome of his memories. I must retreat now to investigate. Silence, Softfoot. Stop yelling at the trees. Come, send Tarzan, Queen of the Wildlands, will help. Uh, so yeah, we're following the Old One's map, which we found last episode, and it led us here. You seek directions, but know not your destination. Ah, send Tarzan, Grasper of Context understands. You seek the village of Ursai. Send Tarzan, protector of the protection not having, will help Softfoot find Ursai. If Softfoot helps send Tarzan first, send Tarzan, warden of the wilderness, live in cabin, then Fusa infest it. Send Tarzan, champion of the beasts, deathly allergic to Fusa. If Softfoot clear out cabin, send Tarzan, Mister of Roof, show Softfoot way into Ursai village. Honestly, one of my favorite characters, not gonna lie. One of my favorite characters. Um, yeah, let me just check though. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. We've got enough stuff in my deck, which is good. Uh, so yeah, this is St. Tarzan's house. Very cool, very epic, looks nice. There's a, there's a thing there, a reagent thing that we should probably collect. Um, again, I apologize about the blue borders around the screen. Um, that's that's the game for you. Some things are just broken. <laughs> um, anything? No dialogue? Wiz? Wizard? Hello? Ah, good. I found my way back to you. But where is this? And, ah, I see you're busy. I shall let you work. Right. Fusa, rank 18. Myth. That is dangerous. That is sending shivers down my spine probably earthquake probably a whole bunch of other pain and suffering wouldn't be surprised um so we'll just play it and hope that they don't earthquake me <laughs> that's how it works right you just play it and pretend that they won't earthquake you and then they won't right something like that that's probably how it works i guess um but yeah they a myth and they are just the same as the other fusa i assume they have about four thousand health i will check in a sec um, luckily, they decided Earthquake was not the move here, which is good. I appreciate them for that. Honestly, just pff, one damage. Okay, you get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Fusa. You are bad. You are so bad. Um, 3,890 health. Oh my gosh, they're so weak. They are little babies. They are just baby. We little baby. Baby, baby Fusa. Baby Fusa. That's a shame. The other ones have about 4,000, the ones out there, so, um... Kind of interesting, but there we go. They're dead. Easy clap. I would assume boost and resist, similar to most other myth peoples around the spiral. So, yeah, that would be my assumption there. No dialogue. I was expecting, um, the old one to be like, hey, talk to me. Nothing, I should say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Dyson. Dyson. I, I can't remember how we pronounce it, but. I'm just going to call him the old one because that is who he is. He can never not be the old one. I'm sorry. Softfoot, clear out cabin. Send Tarzan, haver of feelings, is most appreciative. We'll tell Softfoot, secret of Ursai village. Many moons ago, villagers grow angry with outsiders, ruining tranquil Ursai lifestyle. So they make village hard to get into. Very exclusive. Send Tarzan, knower of information, know how to get in. She pretty sure. See innocent, deadly, poison thorn vines there? Path to Ursai, behind them. But Softfoot needs salve from durian fruit to get through poison thorns without dying from thorn poison. Plenty durian fruit in wildlands. Giddy up! Okie dokie, let's collect some durian. These are actually like IRL super duper stinky. Um, and 
you'll notice very soon that they mention that in the game because they're also stinky here. So these reagents, by the way, these are, um, what are they called? They're old one artifacts. Uh, and they're all around. You need them to craft a whole bunch of stuff here. So, yeah. Um, they're just scattered around all the places. So, yeah. Collect them if you want to. If not, that's fine. I will collect them for you. Because that's how it works, for sure. Right, centaurs and hello. Ah, good! Softfoot have durian fruit. Now, Centarzan, salvologist, make durian sal. And done. Here, Softfoot smear salve on entire body. Oh, Centarzan, regretter of nose. Forget how stinky durian is. Luckily, poison thorn vines hate durian salve stink too. Vines will wilt. Revealing entrance to Ursai village. But soft for take heed! Ursai villagers! Interesting characters! Outsiders who go in rarely come out. But hey! Maybe Softfoot too stinky for bears to eat now! Ha <laughs> ha! Centarzan! Fusa free homeowner! Away! She go away! Um right! Let us pass through here. Oh, they did not like that one bit. They're like, nope. Ah! The ghost to squawks! Run! Uh, wait, you don't look like a ghost. But you do look friendly. Enough. Uh, come closer. Unless you're not friendly. We are friendly, yes. Then we meet the qualifications to speak with him. Sup, I'm Tosh. Hey, how'd you get past the poison to... <laughs> oh, Durian. Clever, disgusting, awesome! I've never met anything like you before. See, a while back the ground shook and the sky got all funky. Was that you? Booyah, I knew it! The bears all said I was crazy, but I was right! <sighs> Story of my life. I'm always pointing out interesting things, but the bears just dismiss me. Only thing they care about is not caring and naps. Not me, though. Nah, uh The old boy's got bigger plans for me. I'm gonna be interesting. Important. You'll see. Everyone will see. Very soon. At the Kilowahu ceremony! The old boy's gonna be so impressed by the song I'm working up, he's gonna put the angry mountain to sleep forever. You should stay for the ceremony! Oh, but you'll need to clear that with the hierarch first. She's in her sanctum of reflection. <laughs> Don't worry, Juju will totally say yes. She's even more laid back than the bears. Also, my aunt. Worst she'll do is guilt you into doing chores. Right, welcome to Earth Yes, Village. yes. I'm remembering the chapter on a village of bear folk in the old one's memory described as paradise. And now to gaze upon it. Beautiful, yes, beautiful. Look there. The bear folk, and Kilauahu, the angry mountain. Yes, yes. The mark of the old one runs deep through this land. It's almost overwhelming. Quickly, we, you, must find this juju. Right, welcome to Paradise. It's a very cool place, actually. I really love the just the whole feel of this place. A little bit copy-pasted from Celestia, but I don't mind that. It, it feels different enough. If you understand, um, but yeah, would love your thoughts, maybe, possibly. Um, load, please. Thank you. <sighs> What's your rule about barging into the sanctum of reflection without knocking? Tis better be go. What are you, everybody? Panic! Oh, Tar sent you. Figures he'll be the death of me yet. Let me guess. He thinks you're interesting and wants to show off for you, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, bless him. He's a solid judge of character, though. So, if Tosh says you're worthy of our most sacred village ceremony, I'll allow it. No outsider has witnessed the Kilowahu ceremony in... <laughs> but, oh, what's the worst that could happen? Right? That is, if we even have a Kilowahu ceremony this year. I'm afraid the villagers have done all of two things to prepare. Diddly 
and a squat. Help with the bare necessities of ceremony prep and I'll consider it your official Ursai initiation, or whatever. <laughs> Starts with that loaf, Chewy. Right, okie dokie. Diddly and Squat have the bears done, because bears are terrible. <laughs> Definitely how it works. Chewy, hello. Ah! Wake up, Chewy! You're having a nightmare again! Oh, you're real! Go ahead then, do your worst. I'm too tired to fight back. What's that? Juju sent you uh, to help with Kilawahu ceremony preparations. Nice. I I'm too tired for follow-up questions. Just collect mm, three bushels of mangoes. Uh, thing is, someone already ate all the ripe mangoes here in the village. It was probably the ghost who squawks. No need to investigate. Uh, but I hear the wildlands are lousy with mango trees. That's no problem for a big, strong... Whatever you are, right? Great. Good luck. Wait. These creatures are new. Perhaps creations of the mana influx? Well, all creatures need names, yes? How about... Humangos? Yes. Humangos is a perfect name. But back to the task at hand. You must shake out three bushels of fruit from these humangos. Do be careful. Right, humangos, let's go. Uh, we need three of them, so we're not going to finish all in one fight, which is fine. Uh, these guys are rank 18, life 4,375 health, which, you know, a little bit, a little bit of a lot. They are life, so we do boost on them. Um, they can probably cast a whole bunch of death shields, I would say, because most things these days cast shields because they're annoying. Um, obviously, they have this astral thing, the cycle of life. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, but it boosts death damage, so that's handy. We can probably actually kill with one blade and a scarecrow right now. I think that sounds like the best bet here. Um, fizzle, unlucky. Imagine fizzling a life spell. That is kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. Imagine that. Couldn't be me. I would never do that. Ever. Never, ever, ever. Kablam. I'm dead. Just kidding. I'm not dead. I only did 300 damage. Not even bad. Fight me. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to fight me. I am too good for you. Let's see. Can this kill? It probably can. Most likely would. Yeah, 5,000. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. How many are we going to get? Are we going to get two or one? Let's find out. We get... Two. Nice. Okay, I'll be back once I've got one more. Oh, the humanity! Such a pained face you're making. I take it I didn't succeed at humor. I'll work on it. You take the mangoes to Ursai. Wow! Those are some funky looking mangoes. You say you pluck them off of walking mango trees, which you've dubbed humangos. I can't tell if you're speaking gibberish or if I'm too tired to comprehend the words coming out of your weird little face. Either way, thanks. I tell you, as much as I love the Kilawahu ceremony, I'm more excited for an end to Toshi's incessant practicing. I haven't slept well in months. Well, I better get these two bushes of mangoes to the beach for the ceremony. You should check on Christopher. He's further behind than I was. Right, let us talk to Christopher and see how far behind he is. He sounds like he's very lazy, but that's fine, I guess. <laughs> what strange agent of the ghost who squats you be? Be gone with you. Uh, oh, 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 never mind. I give up. Just make it quick. Ah. Oh. You're not an evil outsider here to eat my flesh and pillage our paradise. <sighs> Sorry for the grisly intro. Me just tired. So, what are you then? A wizard who's here to help with the ceremony prep? Irie, been too tired to check on me shrimp nets. But the old boy has answered me prayers. Could you run down to the pier and 
Actually, since me got you on the hook, I wonder if you could do me a, uh, a real favor. Go tell Tosh to shut up. Just for a short while, for the good of the entire village. We could all use some rest before the big ceremony. This doesn't sound like it's going to end well. Oh, no. Oh, uh, hey, friends. Uh, tell me, does it sound better if I go from the third to the fifth? Or if I stay on the third and... What? The bears want me to be quiet? Well, if that's how they feel, they can perform their own ceremonial hymn. Hmm, yeah, that does not sound good. Ah, so much better. Me can finally hear me on thoughts again. And they're telling me to take a quick nap before the ceremony. Oh, yeah. Oh, the fish. Got to catch fish for the oh, food. Eating feast for the feast. Go to the pier. Reel in me catches. Take the fish to Cody. Me? Ooh. Me? Nap. He was making me tired just listening to him. Holy moly. Um, right. Let's get some fish. Yum yum fish. Yum yum fish. And talk to Cody. Hello, Cody. How's it going? Hey! Drop the fish, you funky, bald face, cool camba thief! Help! Thief! Shoo! Get out of here! What? Who are you to tell me to calm down? A wizard from another reality who's here to help me with the preparations for our sacred and very private village ceremony? You had me at help me, bald face! <laughs> now listen up, the Kilawahu ceremony starts in... Uh, let's say soon. And you've got a lot of work to do. This fish will pair nicely with the two bushels of funky mangoes that Chewie provided. But we will need a sturdy feast table to lay it all out on. Ideally, we'd use freshly milled hardwood, but time is short. Driftwood from the beach will have to do, okay? Why are you still standing here? Why can't he do this himself? Oh my gosh, these bears are so lazy. So lazy, making me go and collect their driftwood now. Oh, man, I think they just need to stop being so lazy. Honestly, oh, we need one more. Oops, that would have been funny. Collect three. Nope, we need four. Uh-oh. Right, Cody, hello. Whoa, that's double the amount of driftwood we bear folk could have collected. Your magic wizard powers are amazing. <laughs> and quite handy. Speaking of, I need nails to bind this driftwood into a proper feast table. I hear iron nails are popular. But metallurgy ain't exactly a bear folk thing. <laughs> Instead, we use chitin nails, the hard, durable, and super sharp toenails from Killapeeds. What? Don't judge. They grow back. We don't have time to wait for a Killapee to wander into the village, so you have to go find them in the wildland. Oh, and keep an eye out for the ghost who squawks. If he's real, he'll definitely want to destroy a wizard. Good luck! <laughs> Right, that is where we're going to end off today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, follow, subscribe if you want to. Leave a like if you want to. And as always, remember to craft outside the box.